use the generic Free Space VR cockpit. And here's the retextured one. this VR you're going to need the Gnosis Mod Manager and download if you got Windows the Windows version just download that so this is the one you want to use right here so now you're going to want to you know install this one so you install it if you want to modify it you, you can add whatever graphics or whatever mods to it so you just hit OK. And so if you ever want to revert it back, you can go to Options and uh, Verify Integrity. If you want to change anything, you got first you got to locate your file, uh, your free space file to play it. You get a video, you change your video, you can change your audio to where you want to bring your audio to. So if you're using different headphones or something. Uh, also, you can change your uh, joystick. So using the uh, flight stick which is pretty yeah, it's pretty awesome so yeah all right here's how to change the cockpit textures all right go to C drive click on games next now click free space open go down to FS2 and scroll down to VR 101 hit data Scroll down to maps if you want to change it. Now these last three right here are the ones we're going to change. So if you just drop the file in and hit replace all, it'll change it. So all the files and links will be in my video description. So download what you need. Download Gnosis to use the mods. Now when you use Gnosis, you got to make sure you link it to a retail copy of your game. That way it even works. So as long as you do that, then go to the files, download the files, uh, the three files, and then just drag and drop them into that, that maps folder and replace them, and it should work. So this is just a quick how-to, but uh, test it out. Let me know what you think. Comment below if you need any help, or uh, let me know what you think about it.